What a great display of magic and illusion. Reza, what got you into uh, doing illusion? Well, uh, first of all, thank you very much. I started when I was uh, about six years old. It's crazy how one moment can change your life, literally. And this magician came to my elementary school, and somehow he wound up getting me up on stage for this trick. And I remember it very vividly as a kid. You know, these moments kind of stand out. And it was with these rings, mm -hmm. solid steel rings, about this big, and they would link and unlink. And I was, I was fascinated. So I went home, and that night I remember telling my parents, I want to be a magician when I grow up. And uh, it, they were so happy, Governor, let me tell you, they were, they were so happy, but they, as any supportive <laughs> parents would, bought me a magic kit for my seventh birthday, and that's where it all started. Beautiful, beautiful story. Hey, I know we're separated by Miles and Skype and all of the technology, but Reza, can you show me something now? Yeah, absolutely. You know, there's a lot that divides us, unfortunately, but there's a few things that bring us all together. And I've yet to meet someone who doesn't like Oreo cookies. So, uh, you know, I want to try something with an Oreo. Governor, do you like Oreos? <laughs> I love Oreos and I love Oreos and ice cream. The cookies and cream, one of my favorites. So, yes. Exactly. Actually, that was invented in my uh, hometown, Brookings, South Dakota. And so I have a, a very <laughs> special connection to this. <laughs> Uh, which is cool, but even though people love Oreos, there's still a problem because some people eat them like this, right? Cream first. I don't know. Do you do it like this or mm -hmm. do you just eat the whole cookie? I eat the whole cookie. The whole enchilada. Mm -hmm. The whole thing? Cookie, not an enchilada. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's true. If you do the cream first, though, <laughs> you're left with a problem. Just the cookie <laughs> left, right? So I came yeah. up with a solution. Watch carefully. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so that uh, here, is cheers. Stunning. Wow. Double stuffing Oreo. Double stuff, triple stuff, Man. potentially. Triple stuff. Wow. Reza, I got to tell you, I don't know how you did that. I'm watching it here on uh, a video screen. You got to come to our theater when we're back open in Nashville and do that. And if even if you don't do the trick, just bring the bag of Oreos. That's all you got to do. I will. We'll let you in the door, I promise. Somebody. Well, we're looking forward to, uh, to having you. I got to tell you this. You make us all very hungry for an Oreo snack right now. Reza, thank you so much for being with us. It is a pleasure to have you. Thank you so much, Governor. I appreciate it. It's an honor. But while I try to figure out how he did that, I want to see if Keith Bilbrey has anything up his sleeve to help you follow the magic of Reza. Well, I think I can conjure something up. To book Reza for your event, to see his tour schedule, more amazing videos, and to get his DVD that teaches you how to do some magic of your own, visit RezaLive.com.